Morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to the briefing for Tuesday, the 28th of November. Okay, low pressure up to the northeast of us today, um, but we're in a fairly clear area here. It's showing this occlusion down to the uh, west, southwest, uh, but it's showing it as a weakening feature. And uh, we're just left here, a very slack area with no isobars really anywhere near us. Uh, going further ahead, to tomorrow. Similar picture provided this front does stay clear of us, currently showing to be very close, um, but otherwise looks like quite light wind uh, for tomorrow. And going further into the week, uh, we probably get away with Thursday, uh, but there's a lot of low pressure uh, coming in that could throw some weather our way. Uh, wind today is showing very light and variable, generally from the north, uh, starting from the northeast, going around to the northwest. And the tap pick showing a nice clear outlook uh, with a few little bits of cloud around uh, and some showers out here to the east by the looks of it. Um, but generally a pretty nice picture. Uh, yeah, you see those showers to the southeast, otherwise nothing around. And the rainfall forecast is clear in the Lasham area all day, which makes a nice change. Public forecast then showing sunny intervals, uh, wind starting from the north, going around to the northwest. Uh, good visibility all day, quite humid this morning, but reducing as we go throughout the day. Uh, midday, temperature showing here, 6, maybe 7 degrees at most, with dew points quite cold, about 2 or 3. Uh, that's the current view outside, looks very nice, uh, looks like a light northerly wind at the moment. Currently just over 3 degrees, that's pretty chilly, uh, dew points that's at 1 degree. Okay, Odium's last report. Um, Light wind from the north northwest, a few clouds at 900. That was an hour ago. Um, they're showing for the rest of the day a few clouds at 1500. Uh, yeah, I expect it will slowly lift, but we can deal with few clouds at well, really any height. Um, they put a prop 30 in here this morning for scatter clouds at 2000. Um, I don't think that's going to happen, but it's still high enough if it does. Farnborough much the same, they're showing the wind varying between the west-southwest and the northwest. A um, few clouds at 3,000, that's half an hour ago, and that's their forecast. Interestingly, they put here a prop 30 uh, from midday onwards for some lower cloud and rain showers. I think they're being a bit pessimistic there. Okay, uh, top meteo, I've just got on here the wind. It's going to be a little bit annoying today. Uh, if we go for about 9 a.m., on the surface, it's showing slightly from the northeast, but more importantly, at flying height, it's showing it to be uh, more from the east and a little bit stronger. And you see, as we go around to about midday, it's pretty much from the north, and then uh, from 1 pm onwards, it's more northwest. So, despite it maybe seeming like it's westerly on the ground at height, certainly Top Meteo reckons it's going to be a little bit more easterly, which does make sense. Yeah, there's no no terms today. So operationally, I think what we're going to do is start off on zero nine. Unless I get out there and the wind stops really pointing in the opposite direction. Um, so launch point will be on the slightly offset to the south side of the runway, uh, allowing gliders to go on the north side of the runway and to have the cables running down here. Make sure we're leaving a gap for the retreat drive past at all times, otherwise it ends up going on the same bit of grass and making it very muddy. Uh, and make sure when you're turning out from the hangar, uh, the cables are on the north side. So unless you are certain that we haven't taken them out yet, don't tow onto the runway. Just go around the back of the launch point as you normally would. A couple of jet movements uh, this morning that I'll come to. Um, the idea is probably during one of those, we will then switch to 2.7. So launch point offset to the south up here. And then cables running down the north side of the runway again, just like that. In both operations, aerotang will be from the south side of the runway, and all landings will be onto the grass, which is in pretty good condition because it's so cold, uh, and it has been quite dry. Okay, so we've got an A319 arriving at 11.19, uh, supposedly, and an A319 arriving at 12.30. So we'll see what the wind's doing and then probably swap around during one of those. Um, okay, otherwise it should be a really nice day. Uh, great training day, so I'll see you out there. Bye for now.